What's up everyone, Eric here with Classic Wax Sports Cards. Uh, today I've got this box of 2023 Topps Heritage. I uh, broke down and bought one of these in Walmart, these mega boxes. Um, I just am a sucker for the Heritage series. I think it's a really cool um, thing that Topps does. Everybody always complains about the hits and it's true, you don't really, I mean you have to buy the bigger boxes like at least probably this one or a hobby box or a bigger retail box to um to really get any kind of good hits uh, if you just buy the individual jumbo packs and stuff it see it tends to just be a bunch of base base cards but uh that's what this this set was intended for i believe it was just for set builders it's uh it's got the vintage you know retro look which is what you know a lot of uh people from that era 70s 80s they used to set build and um, that's what this was kind of designed for, I, I believe. Uh, and I think they do a good job. I mean, they look cool. They put some cool inserts. I think this box, the uh, blue, I don't know if they call them blue sparkle, I believe. Blue sparkle are the inserts I think that you're looking for in these. Yeah, exclusive limited blue parallels. I think they're calling them blue sparkles on, on eBay. But uh, my favorite rookie right now is Corbin Carroll for Arizona. I've been watching a lot of baseball this year, and, you know, um, he's just, this guy is just the man. I mean, he is a fun player to watch. Um, kind of reminds me of, I'm a Phillies fan, and Chase Utley. Uh, Chase Utley, who's probably a borderline Hall of Famer with his numbers if he had played another couple years or had another year or two better in his prime. And didn't get injured, he'd probably be a Hall of Fame guy. Uh, that's Carroll plays outfield, but just the way he plays, he's tough. He's he's not that big of a guy, and he's got a lot of pop. Um, I'm looking to pull one of his rookie cards out of here because he's kind of the big, the big hit in this set right now. There's not too many big hits, but um, he's one of them. So he was a starter in the All Star game. So I'm going to open this up and see see what we can get out of here pretty decent packaging by by tops on this it's not bad nothing like classic wax as far as our wrappers or anything but this is what we get we got a stack of packs here and a stack of packs there and in case anybody was wondering this I think it's about $55 and plus tax so it came out to be just about 60 bucks so let's see what we get. Looking for those blue sparkles. Um, oh, wow. Holy cow. Right off the bat. Look at that. Hopefully that's a good sign that this is going to be like a special box. That was pretty freaking cool. The best player in the game, right on the top, first card, followed by his teammate. They don't put the Los Angeles Angels on here anymore. And I, and I heard why, but I don't know 100% why. It has something to do with back then they were the California Angels when they used this design. And I think it's just the Angels where they don't have, where it's blank up there. But there is Otani. We're going to put that aside, and I'll put that in a sleeve here in a second. Christian Walker, pretty good player there. There we go. Another good card. Bobby Witt Jr. Put a stack over here of the Stars. Zach Thompson rookie card. Sal Perez. Here we have New Age Performers. J.J. Blade. Teoscar Hernandez. And Will Brennan. Well, that's pretty cool. So let's put this uh, let's put this Shohei here in a penny sleeve and throw this baby right up there. I think I looked online and um, it looks like the blue sapphires, the Corbin Carroll sells for about $50 raw. Here we go. Jeremy Pena, last year's playoff darling, killed the Phillies in the World Series. Adam Simber, Corey Seager, Madrizario, Max Muncy. Not a fan of Max Muncy. Sorry, any Max Muncy fans. He just drives me nuts as a person who doesn't root for the Dodgers. There you go. Juan Soto. 
I think if Max Muncy was on any team, I wouldn't like him. He's just one of those guys that if he's not on your team, he annoys the heck out of you. He's just kind of, he just has one of those faces. I don't know what it is, but he just, he's easy to not like, that's for sure, in my opinion. Sorry if anybody's a big Max Muncy fan out there, or if his uh, family's listening or anything. I'm sure he's not a bad guy, just, just, just as a player, he's just annoying to watch. Derek Hall. Luis Liberato. I don't know a lot about him. Marcus Simeon. Bailey Falter. Starling Marte. Oh, here we go. This is uh this is an insert. These these stamp cards. These are pretty cool. Bunch of Yankees on this one. Got your months in there. So they're 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 perforated. Or, you know, have the look of it because that's that's what the old ones look like. That's pretty cool. We'll sleeve that up in a second. Jose Altuve. Oh, here you go. This is cool. This this reminds me there was a uh, Hank Aaron card in the original set. Home Run King. Look like that. That's a nice card. And Josh Smith. So let's go ahead and put that. We'll put both of these in sleeves. Put that to the side. And we'll put this this one here on display. But we're going to get better cards in this, hopefully. A couple blue sparkles we're looking for. Some big ones. So I don't I, I don't know if I've done too much modern, if any, on the uh, on the channel here. I just really like these tops heritage and um, I put a lot of them in our classic wax packs. There we go. That's a pretty big hit. That's that's your second best rookie in the set, arguably. He's having a good year. He looks really legit. Francisco Alvarez. So that's his rookie card. That's a nice pull there. And what do we got here? We got another Aaron Judge. Oh, Aaron Judge special. Pretty cool. That's some sort of insert. Max Meyer rookie card. A lot of rookie cards in here. Matt Ballant, Batten. Sorry. A uh, couple all-stars here. These are cool. They're, they look just like the ones back in the day in 74. Uh, Manny Machado, Rafael Devers. All-star third baseman. Brandon Lau and Tommy Henry. So, a lot of rookie cards so far, which is cool. And we already got... It'd be, no, it'd be nice if we even just got a base Corbin Carroll. So we already got Alvarez. No blue sapphires yet, but George Springer, Christian Pache, who's now on the Phillies and actually looking pretty good. He's finally coming around. Alex Manoa. We got a Mikael Garcia rookie card. Drew Waters rookie card. Is Israel Pineda rookie card. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? then and now of Jeff McNeil and Ralph Gar. So these are your batting champs, I believe, from, from those two years. It's a cool card. Mookie Betts, Byron, Byron Buxton. Oh, and another pretty good rookie card here. Vaughn Grissom, who is still hurt, I believe, but they have high hopes for this guy. Braves usually hit on all their, you know, When's the last time that they were wrong on stuff? They're pretty much right about all their prospects. Although they gave up on Christian Pache pretty quick. And if he ever can become a consistent hitter, he might be a really good player because he's exceptional in the field. Eric Lauer, Cole Calhoun, Matthew Libertor. I really like Cattell Marte. He's a good player. Hunter Brown, rookie card. We have your home run leaders in Judge and Schwarber, Kyle Wright, Yandy Diaz, and Bo Naylor. There we go. We got the brothers, the Naylor brothers are playing on the same team. That's kind of cool. Um, Josh Naylor is a fun player to watch. No, oh, there we go. We got a blue sapphire coming up here at the... Is it the last card? It might be the 
that card on this, but there's a blue sapphire. Joey Bart, Jeremiah Estrada rookie card, Adrian Morjan, Eric Hosmer, Danny Burgers, <laughs> Vogelbach, Miguel Andujar, who I really liked a few years ago, but he's kind of fallen out of favor. Cesar Hernandez, Jose Ramirez, really phenomenal player. Josh Naylor, and what do we got here? What do we got? It is the last card. Gabriel Moreno, rookie card. Okay. Okay. Boy, these are cool looking, I will say. It just looks like almost like a bunch of glitter. Um, let's see what the back looks like. There you go. We'll get this right into a sleeve here. Try not to smudge this up. Good looking card. Gabriel Moreno. I don't know a ton about him. He's a catcher, and I know I definitely have heard of him, but um, I can't tell you what kind of year he's having. But uh, that's a that's a cool card. At least we got a rookie there. So let's see if we can pull any more of those. I've seen some people get like three of them out of each box, so hopefully we've got some more of those coming. Doesn't look like this pack has any. There we go. Acuna and Judge. I like these dual cards. You got two stars in the same card. There's another good rookie. Is Waldo Cabrera. Uh, I know the Yankees have high hopes for him. Louis Varlin. Garrett Hill rookie card. Kyle Schwarber. This might be... Some of these are image variations. I don't know how you can tell. Uh, they, they're, they're always like a different looking picture. Kind of like this one catches me as something that might be the image variation. Okay, Brian Hayes. I'll have to go back and look. Lance McCullers Jr. Corbin Burns and Matt Manning. Yeah, there's there's definitely some image variations in in these, but they're I, I'm not too too up on what how to tell the difference and which ones they are. Jordan Diaz rookie card. Oh there we go. O'Neal Cruz. We like him. Guy can play. I think he is either back for now or he's still hurt. I'm not sure. Tony Kemp, Marco Gonzalez, Danny Jansen, Ilar Hernandez. Oh, there we go. Michael Harris, New Age Performers. Another good rookie. Gary Sanchez. And Carlos Perez. I believe Gary Sanchez is on the Padres now. He's catching for the Padres, I think. Jerks and Profar. Josh Rojas, not the Diamondback we're looking for. Jesus Aguilar. Glenn Otto. Andres Jimenez. Clay Holmes. AJ Puck. Matt Chapman. And Jose Trevino. That was probably our worst pack yet like as far as hits are concerned no blue sapphires here hopefully we don't just get that one blue sapphire i was hoping for at least two jared walsh see again here the blank top Brunetto door trent grisham oscar gonzalez rookie card jake cronenworth robbie ray jacob junis Cole Irvin and Kikuchi. All right, we got four to go. Really, really desperate for those. Uh, man, I would be so pumped if I pulled a Corbin Carroll blue sapphire. Oh, we got a blue sapphire here. It looks like it's the back card again. Wow. I didn't notice on the other um, videos I watched if, if those were typically the back card. Uh, Luis Severino, Cody Bellinger in that long, I think it's a pretty swing of his. Dalton Guthrie, rookie card. Andrew Chafin. We got strikeout leaders in Garrett Cole, Corbin Burns. 
that over here. Sean Murphy. Oh, there we go. I like the uh, old timers on here. We've got our man, Hank Aaron. Vinny Pascatini. Pascantino. Sorry about that, Vinny. George Kirby. And what is this card? Toronto again. What if it's the same guy? No, it's not. Matt Chapman. Two Toronto guys. Okay. Matt Chapman's a good player, but not exactly what we were looking for. I will throw that in a sleeve, though. Still a blue sapphire. Doesn't look to be numbered or anything like that. But I'll give that its just due. Put that right here over the top of that. All right, three to go. Hopefully we get another sapphire here. Looks like there's something in here, perhaps, in the middle there. Let's see what we got. Javi Baez. Boy, talk about falling out of favor. Framber Valdez. Wilmer Flores. Hunter Dozier. Michael Kopech. And here we go. Another one of these with the Cubs guys on it. Those are kind of cool. Flashbacks. Oh, here we go. Gerald Ford sworn in as 38th U.S. president. These are kind of ridiculous, but oh well. Paul Goldschmidt and not the Diamondback I was hoping for. Well, we're down to two packs. I'd really like to get a Corbin Carroll rookie card out of one of these packs, but... Oh, yep, we got a blue sapphire. All right, we got a blue sapphire coming up in this one. And again, it's the last card. Andrew Benintendi, Hayden Wisniewski, Matt Strom, card collector Matt Strom, Brendan Donovan, cup card, Hassan Kim. Oh, there we go. That is a cool card. There, that might be our best card yet. There's a James Outman. Uh, that's a chrome, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's numbered out of 999. 264 of 999. That's a that's not a bad card. It's kind of cool. It's the uh, chrome-coated one. Numbered. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to put that aside and sleeve that up. Oh, I love this guy. Dustin May. Just love this guy. Kiner Falefa. Brady Singer, and who do we got? We've got a Milwaukee Brewer. We have Corbin Burns. Okay, well, did he win the Cy Young last year? I don't even know. It's not numbered, but um, that's not a bad pack with those two hit cards in it, the Burns here. But we didn't get the big card we were hoping for. But, you know... We still got one more pack. I'm going to put this James Outman here. And I think this is probably the best card we got for sure. Is this card right here. I have to look up what that sells for. It's probably no more than like a $10 card. That's my guess. There's not much. I mean, the Corbin Carroll one was selling for like 50 bucks. Other than that, I think that um, Francisco Alvarez was like, you know, 20 maybe, 15 C.J. Abrams, Austin Hayes, Trace Thompson, Johan Duran, Cal Raleigh, Ken Waldachuk, rookie card, Nelson Vasquez, rookie, Tommy Edmond, Jonah Heim. Darn. Well, we didn't get the rookie card we were hoping to get, but overall, not a bad, bad rip. We got a this Omar Moreno, we got an Otani, which was the very first card we pulled. This James Altman card is pretty cool. We have a Matt Chapman and a Corbin Burns Blue Sapphire. And then we've got this stack here of, you know, I guess you'd call these hits. Got a couple of these stamp cards. The Hank Aaron Flashback. 
Michael Harris, New Age Performers, O'Neill Cruz. A lot of rookie cards. Here's a cool Aaron Judge. A lot of rookie cards. Vaughn Grisham. Then and now. Here's another Judge. This is probably our, our best rookie card that wasn't a uh, Chrome. Jeremy Pena and Bobby Witt Jr. So overall, pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it's worth... It's probably worth the money. I mean, they give you a good amount of cards. If you are trying to set build, um, I think there's something like 400, just under 500 cards in this in this set total uh, when it comes to all the, the uh, you know, the different variations and whatnot. But um, let me know in the comments what you think of the product. If you think Heritage is cool or if you think it's junk, uh, let me know. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.